long before anyone ever said the words conservation or biodiversity. Communities around the world were caring for their environments as a natural expression of their cultural, spiritual and religious beliefs. This film is about just some of the places where culture, spirituality and conservation meet, and why working together could make all the difference in meeting the greatest environmental challenges of our time. Indigenous territories are estimated to cover up to 22% of the Earth's surface and host significant biodiversity. In Hawaii, indigenous and local knowledge is passed down to sustain abundant lands, or Aina Momona. Hawaiians come together to restore the community's traditional and sacred role and responsibility for their lands and waters. In Ethiopia, it's easy to spot thousands of the silver domes of churches encircled by bright green forests that they have sustained for centuries. The Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahedo Church has nearly 50 million followers. Ethiopian scientist Dr. Wasi has studied the biodiversity of these forests for decades. They serve as refuges for wildlife, including pollinators. But these sacred forests are threatened by encroachment. Through a conservation partnership with Dr. Meg Lohman and the Tree Foundation, churches are working to further conserve these forests. The worldview and decision-making of most people on Earth is colored by cultural, spiritual, and religious values. 86% of the global population belongs to a local or world religion with leaders serving as trusted moral guides. In recent years, many influential religious leaders have called on their vast communities to care for the Earth. For example, in 2015, Pope Francis published the most powerful Catholic commitment and issued an urgent invitation to all of us to care for our common home. The United Nations has called the Faith's Environment Programs the largest civil society action on the environment in the world. Recognizing that we need to ignite a huge civil society movement, it is natural that conservation turns to the faiths as partners. The range of the tiger, for example, spans some of the most religious countries in the world. In 2014, Indonesia's most influential Muslim organization took the unprecedented step of issuing two Islamic edicts, or fatwas, calling on all Muslims to protect threatened wildlife and end the illegal wildlife trade as part of their religious duty. Another fatwa soon followed, prohibiting destructive forest and peatland fires. With support from conservationists from Indonesia's National University, ARC and WWF, 400 Muslim clerics in Sumatra and Java are spreading awareness about the fatwas amongst tens of thousands of people in their communities. Inspired by the Indonesian model, a fatwa prohibiting involvement in the illegal wildlife trade was also passed in Malaysia. Cambodia has one of the highest rates of forest loss in the world. Buddhist monks there have proved themselves powerful forces for conservation, acquiring legal protection of a 20,000 hectare forest, leading community patrol teams, raising environmental awareness, and significantly reducing forest crime. Wrapping their saffron robes around tree trunks, they bless trees and ordain them as monks safeguarding the forest and the wildlife they shelter. Over 20 years, the IUCN Cultural and Spiritual Values of Protected Areas Specialist Group has developed many resources, including guidelines, to help integrate sacred, natural sites into protected area management. In 2016, the IUCN added Indigenous Peoples Organisations as a new membership category to help steer the global conservation agenda. Indigenous peoples, faith groups, conservationists, businesses and government agencies 
are increasingly coming together to form new partnerships. How can we move forward together to meet the environmental challenges of our time? Cultural, spiritual and religious leaders can appeal to the hearts and minds of millions of people and conservationists can provide technical assistance to strengthen and support conservation initiatives. Together, we can transform our relationship with the natural world.